أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كلاس إن شاء الله الكريم we are forging ahead from where we stopped last week. Uh, the group that we present today is Group B. I will use the opportunity given to me as a teacher to invite the group members. Amina Yusuf, Amina Yusuf, Sauda Salis, Mariam Bellosambo, please come out. As we all know, the question given to them is list and explain the values of fasting. We are going to hear from them what they have gathered for us. May Allah make it easy. And I told you that I am going to select the presenter who is going to present. The wisdom behind this I want everybody to contribute his quota in doing the assignment. So, uh, who is Amina Yusuf? You are opportune to be the group presenter. Over to you. May Allah make it easy. I want you, I don't want you to read all the content. Just talk to the paper. The way I explain, talk to your paper. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Balus of first day. Number one, kindness to people and animal. Number two, charity. Number three, forgiveness. Number four, honesty. Number five, patience. Number six, justice. Number seven, respecting parents and elders. Number eight, controlling one's anger. Number one, kindness to people and animal. One hadith quite Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as saying, a good deed done to an animal is as meri is as meritorious as good as a good deed done to a human being. While an act of cruelty to animal is a bad as an fact as an act of cruelty to a human being. What does Quran say about animals, human being and animal? Allah has given human domini dominion over other creatures. He has made them by grant on earth. Quran Quran thirty five verse. 39. This is a duty and a responsibility. Muslims shall not abuse their privilege or exploit animals because God will furnish them if they abuse this power. What does Quran say about kindness? Islam strongly asks Muslims to treat animals with confession and not to abuse them. The Holy Quran states that all creation praise God, even if this phrase is not expressed in human language. What does Quran say about kindness? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Help one another in act of pity and righteousness, and do not assist each other as act of sinfulness and transgression and be aware of Allah. Number two, charity. Charity is a central tenet of Islam. Everything one has belongs to God and therefore a Muslim is obligated to share wealth obligate to share wealth of light to share wealth with those less fortunate. fortunate. The one needs things, thing 
about giving is that is win to win situation. The recipient and the giver both benefit in different way. What does Quran said about charity? Treat with kindness your parents and kindred and orphans and those in need. Speak fair to the fearful. Be steadfast in prayer and practice regular charity. Or and two, verse 83. Be steadfast in prayer and regular in charity. Whatever good you send forth for your souls before you, you shall find it with Allah. What is the best charity in Islam? The Prophet Muhammad said, The best charity is giving water to drink with Muslim charity. You can build a water handful in Asia to Africa for just 115 years and again bless him for the case to come. With every drop of clean water drunk, blessing will come you with, inshallah, forgiveness. One prayer for forgiveness based in hadith follows, Oh God, you are the most forgiving one. You love to forgive, so forgive me. Atirmizi. It sounds simple, but it takes practice. This Ten days of Ramadan are the perfect opportunity to do just that. Can you fast for forgiveness? Forgiving people who have hurt you badly is not an easy thing to do. But if it stands between you and God, bless it. There may be no options for you. So, one good favor individual can do for themselves. This fasting season is to forgive all who have offended them unconditionally. It, it is not just a demand from God. Number four, honesty. What the Quran says about honesty. Islam emphasizes not only the duty to be honest, truthful and trustworthy, but also the social obligation to always support truthful people, to associate with the truthful ones, and, keep, and to keep their company. Number five, patience. It is the moment of patience, and the reward for patience is paradise. It is the month of goodwill, during which provision are multiplied. Whoever fit a fasting person will be compensated with forgiveness of sins and salvation of his soul from hell fire. Number six, justice. How is fasting linked to justice? Fasting also involves justice as we pay attention to our heart, right, and to our spiritual need. To fast is an act of justice toward the self. It shall, it shall also be, it should also be an act of justice toward human beings around the world. Those who are oppressed and unjustly, oppressed and unjustly treated. Number seven, respecting parents and elders. Does Islam say to respect your elders? Who know our elders is not one of us. Another hadith said that serving them elderly is asking to serving Allah. The Quran says 11 times to be kind to elderly parents in particular. In fact, Mistreating or showing disrespect to all elders can result in being denied admission to paradise. Number eight, controlling one's anger. If, if someone gets angry, let him do an ablution wash. Mustafa said, 
it will be full of the anger in him. We believe water when it is being used as a ritual of preparation for the prayer. It helps calm you to root out the world. How can I control my anger during Ramadan? Set some time. Fight for yourself in your busy schedule and do something you like. Wait for your anger to build down. Leave the flesh for some time and slowly breathe for one to two minutes. This improves your action. In summary, they include kindness to people, charity, forgiveness, honesty, patience, justice, respecting parents and elders, keeping promise and controlling one's anger. Islam also commands love to love of God and others. God loved to love of his messenger Muhammad and of believers. Masha Allah, uh, that was a wonderful presentation by Group B members. Uh, this group was represented by, uh, was, uh, the assignment was presented by Amina Yusuf. Uh, before I make my comments, my remarks, let me ask the class members if there is question for them please do ask ask your questions before we go to the next group any question from the from the class any question for them Osman any question for this group this signifies that you understand all the content Yes. You have a question for them. What is your question? Stand up, introduce yourself, and ask your question. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Osman Rab al Sheikh. In your paper presentation, you have mentioned the word charity. I want you to explain the meaning. The meaning of charity? Yes. Where were you when they explained the meaning of charity? They take these values one by one and explain. Where were you? Yes, I don't understand the explanation. Explanation? Yes. So you need more light? Yes. Okay. Any question again? No question for them? Let me help my mic. Mike. Group members, did you hear the question asked by your class member? He wants you to, to share more light or shed more light. On what do you say, what do you say charity? charity 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 no what is not charity what is the of charity in Hausa charity sadaka sadaka do you hear do you hear charity means uh, accepted by all charity. Okay. Let me have the mic. Masha Allah. Now my remarks. My remarks. Masha Allah, wonderful presentations. As I've said earlier, the paper is well presented, well arranged. Because I told you the things I want to see in my assignment. I want to see the name of the group at the top. 
followed by the group members, followed by the question, then body of the introduction, body of the assignment, conclusion and references. So all these things are mentioned here. Yeah. Thank you very much. And any time you are asked to list and explain, don't do shortcut. Some of you will just mention and explain at the same time. By mentioning whatever you are asked to mention, you get your marks for that, even if you did not explain them. Hmm? But if you mention and explain, you are not answering the custom proper. The they mention up to eight values here. That through fasting we can attain all these things. There is something here. There is word here. The one neat thing about giving is that it is win-win situation. Win, win situation. What is the meaning of that? And I ask the group members. You put it down by yourself. So you, you're supposed to know the meaning. It is win, win situation. Can somebody explain the meaning of this? Whenever you give out charity, uh -huh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Surat Salih Sabdullahi. The meaning of its win to win situation, as we said in our paper presentation, it means that the, the person that is giving out the charity. The person who is giving the charity. And the person receiving the charity. And the person receiving the charity. Are both getting something in return. The, the person giving the charity will get rewarded by Allah. And the person that is giving, that is being given the charity will also benefit from it. Yes. So this means that they can defend their work. Go. Another takbir for them. Another takbir for them. Masha Allah. I think that is all. But before we round it up, you know, fasting is around the corner. All these values that were mentioned here. Allah has said in the glorious Quran, Quran 2, He says, Ya ayu al-ladhina amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyam, kama kutiba ala al-ladhina min qablikum, la'allakum tattaqoon. Allah says, O oh, you who believe, fasting has been prescribed upon you at, as it was pre prescribed upon the generation before you. Why? For us to attain what? A taqwa. For us to attain what? Taqwa. If you have taqwa, you attain all these values, values mentioned in this assignment. Because taqwa means what? What is the meaning of taqwa? Taqwa means do whatever Allah asks you to do and abstain from whatever has been what? Prohibited. This is the meaning of taqwa. By earning taqwa, you will also at the same time, at the same time what? Get these values. May Allah make it easy. May Allah prolong our lives to witness uh, Ramadan. And may Allah write our names among the dwellers or among his servant who is going to who Allah will emancipate from Naru Jahannama to paradise. Can we say Amin? Thank you for the presentation. You can take your seat.